Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your gender-free news. This is Jerome Hughes. Now, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, we all know Kathleen Kennedy, she's ruining Star Wars franchise, and she's doubling down on it, okay? So, it's like every time we turn around, Kathleen Kennedy is doubling down on some new woke project that nobody asked for, and it's killing the magic that George Lucas created all those years ago, all right? Now, I'm not here to bash Kathleen Kennedy at all. Or, or for the sake of it, though, let's be honest, Kathleen Kennedy made it pretty easy. But what, what I really want to talk about is how this woke agenda from Kathleen Kennedy is not only ruining the stories you love, but it's also dividing the fan base who stuck with Star Wars through thick and thin. OK, and then there's also a huge number of Star Wars fans who just simply tuned out. But let's start with the Acolyte, OK, that Kathleen Kennedy approved. Now, if you've seen anything about the Acolyte, you know that the Acolyte got woke written all over it. All right? And, you know, Kathleen Kennedy had brought in Leslie Headland, who seemed more interested in pushing her own and Kathleen Kennedy's political agendas than telling a good story. Basically, a show from Kathleen Kennedy that feels more like a lecture on modern day politics than an adventure in a galaxy far, far away, as well as telling about how the origins of the Sith really came about. And also, it's like Kathleen Kennedy thinks the only way to make Star Wars relevant is by forcing this woke ideology onto every corner of the franchise. But here's the thing Star Wars was already relevant and it didn't need this overhaul. Now, Star Wars fans loved it because it was a good story of good versus evil, hope versus despair. But now it's all about pushing different woke narratives that just don't belong in the Star Wars universe itself. And speaking of fans, let's talk about the, the huge division that this woke nonsense has created, thanks to Kathleen Kennedy. You see, Star Wars used to bring people together, whether you were a diehard fan from the original trilogy or someone who jumped in during the prequels. Now, it didn't matter. We all love the same stories, okay? The same characters, even the the same epic battles, all right? And then when it comes to push and shove, we get disappointment. But now, Kathleen Kennedy and her obsession with woke storytelling has split the fan base right down the middle. And you've got one side that's fed up with the political preaching from Kathleen Kennedy and the other side that, well, just blindly accepting whatever Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm throw out there, no matter how bad it is. And that's just wasting time and losing profits. Now, this division just didn't happen overnight. It's the result of years of bad decisions from the top, okay? Instead of listening to the fans and respecting the legacy that George Lucas built, Kathleen Kennedy decided to cater to a small vocal minority that want to turn Star Wars into a vehicle for their own personal political views. Now, this is where things get interesting. Now, over at Marvel, we're seeing a bit of, you know, course correction. Kevin Feige, you know, the guy in charge over there seems to realize that going woke isn't a way to keep fans engaged, or so we think. Now, after a string of underwhelming mov movies and shows during the multiverse saga, Phase 4 of the MCU, Kevin Feige is bringing back the Russo brothers and Robert Downey Jr. to play Dr. Doom, the people who made Marvel what it is to, well, before. All right. And this kind of leadership, this is the kind of leadership that Star Wars needs. Now, if Kathleen Kennedy wants to save the franchise, well, then Kathleen Kennedy should just basically take a page out of Kevin Feige's book. You know, bring back the people who understand Star Wars, who care about the characters and the story itself, not pushing some political or woke agenda. Now, think about this for a moment. Think about it. Just, just, just imagine if Lucasfilm announced that George Lucas was coming back to consult majority of the projects or if they brought in John Favreau to lead the charge more often, the fans would go nuts in a good way. But it would show Kathleen Kennedy that Kathleen Kennedy is actually serious about getting Star Wars back on track about, you know, honoring star wars and what made star wars great in the first place okay now what's the takeaway here well quite simple kathleen kennedy needs to stop with the woke experiments and start listening to the fans star wars doesn't need to be remade into something that it's not it needs to be respected you know cherished and 
preserved for future generations. And Kathleen Kennedy needs to remember that, okay? And quite frankly, you know what? Be honest with you, if Kathleen Kennedy can't even figure that out, well, then maybe it's time for Kathleen Kennedy to go ahead and just retire and Bob Iger and Disney should just no longer offer her another contract this upcoming October and let someone else take the helm. Now, someone who understands that Star Wars isn't just another franchise to be molded into fit the on the modern times. It's the time of the story that needs that's meant to inspire and not divide. OK, now, quite frankly, we have here like a lot of people out there. Who seems to be tired of Cap what Kathleen Kennedy's putting out there. And I guarantee you all that Kathleen Kennedy, she's going to continue to double down on this, okay? She's going to continue to go ahead and we and she's she's going to be in the rude awakening for the failures of Disney Star Wars the Acolyte by Leslie Helen, okay? Kathleen Kennedy is going to have to just basically just swallow her pride and then move on with the whole woke ideology mess that's in the stories today now i know that she probably knows where the bodies are buried and everything with it from the elites and within hollywood and stuff and hollywood is a small town but let's be real here kathleen kennedy simply is not making it better you know kathleen kennedy she can't be fired okay she's looking she but she's able to be you know be able to retire and y'all as you all know kathleen kennedy her contract is ending this october okay and I'm not sure if there's going to be a renewal. If it is, it's not surprising. But at the same time, Kathleen Kennedy is just going to keep being, you know, just going to keep doubling down. Okay. Kevin Feige, as you, I've told you all before, Kevin Feige, he actually went on ahead and made the move to go ahead and get Iron Man back, get not Iron Man, get Robert Downey Jr. back. Kevin Feige made a desperate move, but he made a bold move nevertheless. Okay. And Kevin Feige brought back Iron Man, but shot. Robert Downey Jr. Excuse me, <clears throat> and to the point where, hopefully, he realizes that woke ideology is not working in the movies and the shows. And hopefully, Kathleen Kennedy can get on board with that as well. But the only person that's holding Kathleen Kennedy back is Kathleen Kennedy herself. The only enemy that Kathleen Kennedy has is Kathleen Kennedy herself. Now, the fact of the matter is, it's now coming down to whether or not Kathleen Kennedy is willing to go ahead and make these changes, okay? Because I highly doubt it. And hopefully Bob Iger will be able to go ahead and grow up here and then, you know, not give, not have um, Kathleen Kennedy to renew a contract, you know? Basically just let her retire and everything or, or just basically say to Kathleen Kennedy that we're not going to give you another contract. Or quite frankly, honestly, and here's what I've always been thinking. There's no one out there like Bob Iger can finally replace Kathleen Kennedy. I'm not sure if anyone wants to take the spot of Kathleen Kennedy and run Lucasfilm because of the fact that Kathleen Kennedy already ran Lucasfilm into the ground as it is. Okay. And it seems like it's at the point of no recovery, but other than that, these, this is a lot of course correction that has to be done in Lucasfilm and it's all on Kathleen Kennedy at this point. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Also, be sure to include any additional thoughts you might have this particular topic. If you enjoyed what I shared in this video, go ahead and smash the like, like button, share for a while across social media. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed all the content that I put out there, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Till then, peace.